Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hi, Saul. Hi, Nubia. How Good are evening. you? Hey, Saura. Marco, Antonio. Hello. Good are you ready? Good evening. Sorry. Good, Good evening, evening, Saul. Nice to Good see evening. you. Hey, Saul. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Nice uh, I'm boring and you? Ah, uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, just uh, uh, trying to do my best. <laughs> okay, I, uh, good evening. I'm going to to dinner. Ah, uh, you're going to dinner or just have dinner? Uh, I'm staying and right uh, now. I oh, my okay. You 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 should invite everyone, everybody. You should yeah. invite us. Okay, good evening, uh, Ruth. Nice to nice to see you, Ruth Marielos. Uh, okay, uh, where, do you have the document that I sent you guys? Were you able to get it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, okay. Does everybody have it? Today is the 10th, right? I send you some audios also that you, uh, in your free time, you can, you can practice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So let me share the let me share the presentation over here. Okay, uh, we have uh, we're going to uh, like a review a little bit. Everybody had the document. Is Aura is a vote? Uh, Eda. Yeah, teacher. You had the document. Everybody has yes, it. Yes, I have. Yes. Okay. 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 So. Uh, we're going to we're uh, going to make a short review, very short, uh, before we get into the grammar again. Because what I want you to, uh, what I would like to cover right now is the forms that we use, which is, for example, request with models when we ask for something. So that's the form that I I need to cover in order to uh, go a little bit over there. Okay. So yesterday we were uh, working with uh, this unit and the unit is unit three. Uh, could you uh, do me a favor? That's the unit. And remember that we are asking for a favors. So this is the conversation that I, that I send you. And I send you the, the track of the conversation. Do you get the, do you get the audios? On WhatsApp, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you were able to download it. Okay. So remember that this is. Uh, uh, let me just play this one, and uh, then. Are you able to see it? Uh, to listen? Sorry. Yes. yes okay. Sorry. Unit three, could you do me a favor? Page 16, exercise two, conversation. Would you mind? Part A, listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Rod. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to my best friend's wedding this weekend. I'd love to take some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrowed your new digital camera? Um, no. That's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Uh, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Uh-huh. Sure. A couple of times. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. 
Okay. Um, let me uh, send you to breakout rooms that you can, you have the audio over there and um, maybe you can uh, listen. It will be in peers, okay? So uh, I will assign the, the, the rooms. Okay, when you get uh, practice the conversation, okay, uh, their instructions are there. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, teacher. Hi. Are you practicing the conversation? Yes, yeah, pero que no puede compartir la imagen en el WhatsApp porque uh, no hay WhatsApp en el diario. Okay, I will share it here because there is no mucho tiempo. There is no much time, okay? And and let me play it for you guys and then you practice the conversation, okay? Uh, okay. Let's listen, listen. Hello. Yes. Only listen that to the conversation, the intonation, and then you practice with Rebecca. Okay, Raúl. Yes. Okay. Le Hello. Hi, Raúl. This is Jane. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to. Uh, you're going to practice when the audio finishes. You're going to practice with Raul, Rebecca. Right now, yeah, just listen. The audio, teacher. Huh? You don't hear the audio. Ah, uh, you don't hear the audio? No. Okay. Best friend's wedding this weekend. I'd love to take yeah, some pictures for his website. Would you mind if I borrowed your new digital camera? Um... No, that's okay, I guess. I don't think I'll need it for anything. Thanks a million. Sure. Uh, have you used a digital camera before? It's sort of complicated. Uh-huh, sure, a couple of times. Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, Raul, you are Rod, and Rebecca, you are uh, Diana. Okay, Raul, you start. Hello. Rebecca? Ahorita tenía que no sea. Tenía un usuario ahorita. 
Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Hello. Hi, Rose. This is Dan. Uh, this is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. What's up? I'm going to tell me best friend's wedding this weekend. I love to take some pictures for this website. Will you mind if I borrow your new digital camera? Oh no, thanks. Okay, I guess I don't think you'll need on the anything. Uh, Rebecca. Thanks, Emilio. Rebecca, you say. Thanks, Emilio. Sure. Thanks, Emilio. Uh, cool. I I haven't used a digital camera before. Is it sure of complicated? Huh. Sure, I complete uh, a couple times. Would would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, now Rebecca, you are Rod, and uh, Raul, you are uh, uh, Jana. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay, the time is up. It's up. We need to go back to the main rooms, okay? So let's okay. go back. Okay, we're coming back. The time is up. Did you practice the conversations? In my case, no, because the other person doesn't connect. Oh, really? You were alone? Yes. Okay. Uh, alone. <laughs> no, but you know, that's okay. When you, when you, every time that if you get a, that case, I hope not anymore. So you, you read the conversation and try to do the intonation as, as much as, as good as possible. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Don't just stay there. You do it yourself. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi, Diana. How are you? Okay, uh, change the Yes, I, I, yes, I, I, I do it. <laughs> you did it. Good. Excellent. Excellent. So don't be afraid. So, yeah, technology, I mean, it's, technology sometimes is kind of difficult, but uh, we're here. Okay. Very well, son. Uh, Very yeah. well, son. Yes, exactly. I send you the audio from that that audio that you can practice that in your moments. You can uh, practice and repeat the words, the sentences. Okay, so uh, that will make your repetition is 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 very good. Okay, everybody's coming back. Everybody's coming back. Oh, uh, we still have 14, 13, 12. We still have a couple of seconds. That's why not everybody, um, Sono, you are missing. Okay, so I was saying that, uh, I was telling the rest of the students that were here, guys, that uh, you have the audio. I hope that you can listen and you can practice the conversation, okay? So repetition is good. Okay, uh, let's continue uh, with our class. So that is, uh, that was, uh, that was uh, we already see this one, this one already see yesterday, the vocabulary. Okay, in part B, there is the sentences over there. Listen to more calls Diana makes, what else she wants to borrow. Do her friends agree or disagree? Okay. Diana wants to. Number two. Andy, agree or disagree? Diana wants to. Rose doesn't agree to. And you write uh, uh, the rest information that is missing there, but uh, uh, in your own words, if you can add in, in your own words. So let me see. Um, listen and 
try take notes in your cuaderno, guys, that you can answer the questions. Page 16, exercise two, part B. Listen to two more calls Jana makes. What else does she want to borrow? Do her friends agree? One. Hello? Hi, Andy. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. That depends. Well, I have to go to a wedding this weekend. Would it be okay if I borrowed your suitcase? Oh, sure. No problem. Thanks a lot. I'll come by and pick it up tonight. That's fine. Two. Rose Rizzo. Hi, Rose. This is Jana. Oh, hello. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, the reason I'm calling is I have a really big favor to ask you. Yes? Remember I told you about that friend of mine who's getting married to a woman he met in Barcelona? Yeah, I remember. And? Well, the wedding's this Saturday afternoon, and it's out in the country, about an hour's drive from here. And I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car for the afternoon to get there. Gee, Jana, I'd really love to help you out. But I'm going to need my car all weekend. I've got a friend coming in from out of town, and I promised to show her the sights. Oh, okay. I understand. Anyway, how are things? I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, you know, work, work, work. Okay, one more time, and then we check. Page 16, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to two more calls Jana makes. What else does she want to borrow? Do her friends agree? One. Hello? Hi, Andy. This is Jana. Oh, hi, Jana. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. That depends. Well, I have to go to a wedding this weekend. Would it be okay if I borrowed your suitcase? Oh, sure. No problem. Thanks a lot. I'll come by and pick it up tonight. That's fine. Two. Rose Rizzo. Hi, Rose. This is Jana. Oh, hello. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen. The reason I'm calling is I have a really big favor to ask you. Yes? Remember I told you about that friend of mine who's getting married to a woman he met in Barcelona? Yeah, I remember. And? Well, the wedding's this Saturday afternoon, and it's out in the country, about an hour's drive from here. And I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car for the afternoon to get there. Gee, Jana. I'd really love to help you out, but I'm going to need my car all weekend. I've got a friend coming in from out of town, and I promised to show her the sights. Oh, okay. I understand. Anyway, how are things? I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, you know, work, work, work. Okay, uh, on number one, uh, Diana is asking for something to Andy. What is she, what Diana wants to? Any ideas? In your own words. She needs the, the Andy borrow the yeah, suitcase. Uh, borrow a suitcase. Yeah, she wants, uh, uh, she wants uh, to borrow Andy's suitcase. And what Andy says, that he says that he agree or disagree? Disagree. Agree. He agrees. He agrees. He says, yes. oh, no problem. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> what about on the second, on the third one? Jana wants to ask us favor to Rose. What does she want to? Jana wants Rose to give you a favor. She wants to lend the car. Uh -huh. uh, she wants to borrow Rose's car. Remember that the apostrophe S means possessive, okay? So, el carro de Rosa, okay? Rosa's car and the suitcase, 
Mr. Lopez class, the students class and so on. Okay, and what about Rose? What does she say? Uh, Rose doesn't agree to? Uh huh. Disagree because Disagree. Uh, he, she used the, the, the car for work. Uh, okay, another idea. Uh, Eda or uh, David, you were she going to borrow her car. Ah, and what is the reason? Because uh, she would use the, the, the car with a ah. friend. That is coming out, out of town. Ah, see, a friend out of town, out of car. So uh, she doesn't agree to learn her car because a friend is coming to visit her, okay? So that's 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 the reason. So, well, when you ask for something like suitcase or a camera, like we saw in the conversation, we might say yes. But when we ask for a car or for money, uh, we don't know. Okay, so I uh, know this is, this is, this is, okay. Hey guys, I send you the I send you the audio for the conversation and this one that you can that you can know over there. So in the conversation we saw uh, this one. What is the what is the learning goal of the request with models? What is the learning goal? Practice making requests, Practice making requests with models. With models. Models. With closes. And gerons. Okay. So um let's listen page 17 exercise three grammar focus requests with modals if clauses and gerunds can i borrow your pencil could you lend me a jacket is it okay if i use your phone do you mind if i use your cd burner would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrowed your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your car. Okay. One of the things that I was telling my student about the other group is that when we speak English, we need to sound uh, formal, okay, and polite. It's really important. So look at the 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 models that we use when it's less formal. We use can, and we use could, okay. Is it okay if I use your phone? So. The models can and could is less formal than would ma would you mind or I wonder or I was wondering. So these are very formal and a very polite way to ask for a favor. Okay, so um, uh, so this is look at the models. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Look, when we use if, we, ah, one of the things is that you need to pay attention is that which form the speaker is using. If it is using the simple present, like, can I borrow you, uh, can I borrow? Simple present, no past. Can you lend me? Lend, simple present. Is it okay if I use simple present? Do you mind if I use, okay? Look, the first four questions is using simple present and you have to pay attention which form the speaker the speaker is using when he or she asks for a favor. And the following sentences, would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday night? What form is this one? Is it simple present, simple past, or simple future? Past. It's simple present past. Present progressive. 
Yeah, a simple past. Look at the verb. It's pick it is a regular verb, so we use ed. Would you mind if I borrow simple past? Your digital camera. In fact, these examples are on the conversation. Are in the con in the conversation, not on the conversation. In the conversation, if you look over there, you will see them over there. Okay. Uh, remember, would you mind letting me it's, use? I'm I'm sorry. It's like like a a, a passing future. No, no. It's no. Uh, it's uh, we are using only. Uh, we are using and the first four sentence simple present and the other one we use in simple past every time that we okay. use that we use ing we don't use uh we use the ing form remember letting me would you mind letting me a couple of dollars would you mind letting me uh rest for a while etc cetera, etc cetera. So we are using, every time that we use let, we use the ing. And I was, and I wonder if I could. I wonder if I can. Remember that could is the past tense, so can. But we use could because could is a little bit, and not a little bit, it's more formal, okay? And when I wonder if I could dismiss the class early today. I wonder if I could uh, sleep for a while. I wonder if I could uh, go to the movies on the weekend. Teacher, a question. Uh huh. Tell me. A little, a little, a little question. Uh, yes. We may say, well. I wonder if I could borrow, or we we, we can say lend. Uh, you can say it either way. Actually, um, this is kind of confusing, borrow or lend, but you can say either way. I wonder if I could lend. Um, no. Uh, lend some money. Not in this case. Uh, I'm sorry, not in the case, because look how it sounds. I wonder if I could lend some money. Does it sound correct? Or does it sound not very good? I, I wonder if I could lend some money. Remember that lend is to give. Okay. And, uh, and also it can be uh, received, but in this case, we cannot use lend. Uh, oh. Definitely, yes? I was reading uh, the difference between lend and borrow. Uh huh. Tell us. Uh, okay. Lend means to give something someone to be used for a period of time. Yes. And then and then return it. Uh huh. Borrow means to take and use something that belongs to someone else for a period of time and then return it. Ah. Okay. So when you borrow something, you could have it a little longer, right? And then, yeah. but, you, but you have to return it also. You have to return. Yes, but lend is for a, period, for a, a short period of time. That's what are you saying? And borrow for a little long uh, period of time, but it's still both you have to return it, right? Yeah, because if I... If I lend you my jacket, you have to, but you could return it someday, but yeah. I don't know what, what day. But okay. if I borrow my pencil, you have to return my pencil uh, right now or in uh, one hour. In uh, one hour, uh, uh, it, uh, it's, it's a short period of time. Good, thank yeah. you very thank you very much. Valuable information. Um, okay. And then the last one is, I wonder, I wonder if I mind lending me some money. Um, let me see your card. Okay, you have this one. For example, in the conversation, on the conversation, there we have, you have to look for two examples over there, real examples using in context. What, what is one of the examples in, on the conversation? There are two. 
Which one will be the first one? Uh huh. Do you see an example over there? Would you mind if I borrowed your new digital camera? Would you mind if I borrow the digital camera? Yes. If you have the document or you can uh, circle it, do it. Okay. Remember that the the learning goal was to see examples of, um, of requests with models. And what is the other one? Would it be okay if we, if I picked it up on Friday night? Yes. Will it be okay if I pick it up Friday night? Those examples that you see over there on the on the grammar chart. Okay, so this is in your document, guys. When you ever uh, want to do the exercise on platform, so uh, you can check this one. Request with if. Remember that if is the conditional in English. That's the only condition closest. Uh, and the present tense. For example, we have an example. Is it okay if I if you if you lend me your car for a couple of days or your, if I borrow your car, whatever? Do you mind if I use your camera for a while? So this one's uh, oh, there are some examples. I'm sorry, I will not make it on my own because I, I otherwise I will get too confused. Um, is it okay if, do you mind if are followed by the simple present or the present tense? Oops, what did I do over there? Ah, just close this one. And uh, another example. Do you mind if I use your CD burner? This is in your document word. So you have, how do we use it? And, and, and the examples over there. Request with if clauses and the past tense. Uh, we so use it. That's it. When you use if I, you are talking about possibility? Yes. Yes, we're talking about possibility. Yes, because in the because future. yeah, because uh, the the listener. So I, if I make the request and the speaker, and the one who wants the favor and asking a favor to someone, so the listener will might say, if the listener says no, it means he or she agree. You'll see it in a moment. I, I'll, I'll have that important note over there. Uh, would you mind if I, and, and these are the examples. So, will it be okay if are followed by verb two? Simple present tense. I uh, know, simple past, sorry. And would you mind if, for example, would, would it be okay if I pick it up on Friday? says that they are now on, on, on the conversation. In fact, there are more. Ah, that's the one we circle. The other is, what is the other? Can someone read it? Can someone want to read it? Would you mind if I borrow with your new digital camera? So in these cases, thank you, Sylvia, you, uh, we are using the simple uh, verb to. What is verb to? Simple plus. Simple past. Verb one? Simple present. Verb three? Past participle. Yeah. And a long time ago, we say subject verb complement. Now experts say subject verb, the rest, OK? This has not, nothing to do with this one, but it's, it's very important to know the terms that teachers, uh, experts use on the language. So this is the, the, the note that I want you to see. Would you mind is answer with no 
it means that the request is granted. So uh, if I ask uh, any of you, uh, would it be okay if I borrow your, your car and you say, no. I mean, you're, uh, you're giving me your car. But if he, the answer is yes, so what it means? If the answer is yes, what it means? The person denies the request. Denies the request. So he will not, he or she will not give you anything, will not do the favor. And if it is no, what will, what will be the answer? What will be? If the answer is no, it means? The request is granted. Yeah, the request will be granted. So will be given to you, in other words. Will be given to you. And this is kind of a very long rule, but uh, you have this one, it will make you easier to understand. And you have the examples on the chat. As I told you again, I send you the audio for the grammar and the conversation. So you can practice with that. Okay, request with gerunds. Remember that, what is the gerunds? What are gerunds? Those yes. finish with ing. Yeah, was, <laughs> yeah, main verb plus ing. So would you mind without if is followed by the gerund, no if and this kinds. Would you mind letting me use your uh, your laptop? Okay, I know. Um, so request with if clauses and models. When there plus if is followed by a model. What is a model? Give me examples of model. Can, would, could. Can, would, might. Might. Uh, um, and and sort of, <laughs> sort of those. <laughs> I, went, I wonder if I could borrow some money. So this is, this is the way and you have this, uh, do you see, do you see this one on these rules in your Word document? Do you see the rules over there? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, there are over there. Okay. So uh, another example with Wender plus if is uh, followed by the model. I was wondering if you would mind letting me your car. Remember that when we use Wender, when we use would, when we use was wondering. So we are being very formal on the request. And one thing that uh, that is happened with platform, I check some exercises and most of the exercises you have to type, right? Yes. So be careful with the spelling. Remember that every time that you start writing a word, we the first letter is a capital or uppercase letter, okay? Uh, and uh, after a period, you must write a capital letter, uppercase. So, and another note, important. Look over there. You have these notes over there also in your material. This might be very helpful to you. Important, when there plus if is not a question. Look over there is a, a, a sort of sentence. I wonder if I could borrow some money. No question mark because it is a statement. I was wondering if you would mind letting me your, use your car. So, comprende? Yes, teacher. Uh, if you have any question, please uh, feel free to ask. The only thing that is going to happen is I might not, uh, <laughs> I can answer the question. 
but I hope that I, this one will be very helpful to you. Okay, so there are some sentences over there that I would like you to work on it. Please work on these ones. The time is running, so we have like You have six, six exercises? Yes. Oops. What will be the first one? You want to borrow your classmates underwater camera for a diving trip. What will be the question? I mean, the, I was wondering, the request, not the question, the request. You can use uh, the same verb and the sentence over there. What is the sentence? The, the, I mean, the verb, what is the verb? Borrow. Borrow, uh-huh. And what, Barrow. what? Uh -huh. And what are you asking for? And what are you asking for? I was underwater, wondering. Underwater I camera wondering. for a diving trip. Underwater camera for diving trip. Uh-huh. So what would be the request? I was wondering. I was wondering. Uh-huh. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I just... Uh, uh, I want Would to tell you were uh -huh. I was wonder if uh -huh, if you oh sorry if you mind le lending me if you your, your uh -huh. underwater <laughs> camera ah but uh, we are going on a driving trip uh -huh. okay let's I see uh let's see the example over here i think it's it's over here aha uh -huh. ah every time that you use uh i was wondering we had to use a, a a model right we just said yes. so i was wondering if you cool uh-huh if, if you could you cool barrel Barrow. Your, your uh huh, your your camera for a diving trip and their a uh, water a uh, cam camera camera for more. Uh, I would just need to finish the statement over there, right? For a uh -huh. a diving a uh, trip. You know what diving is? Do you know no. what? Yes. It's to go yes. under. Yes, under diving. with a snorkel. Uh huh. You go under the water with a snow a snorkel. So this is the this is this is a good request that we have been asking. So let me. Do, 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 do. Ah, I had to, well, uh, this will be a good request that we are asking. I was wondering if you could borrow your underwater camera for, uh, for a diving. I miss for the preposition. Remember that for is a preposition for a diving trip. And diving is to go under the water with a snorkel. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you please work on the other ones? And then, and then the, the listener says, sure, that's fine, but please be careful with it, okay? It's, give, it's accepting, it's, it's, uh, uh, as it's given to you, the, the camera, but at the same time, the, the speaker asks you to be careful with it, to take care of it. 
Okay. Let's, with that example, it will be okay for you to work on the rest. It says you can use it, but please say my word first. You want to use your roommate computer and you are using, is that okay? Is it okay if I use your computer? Uh-huh. Is that okay? Let me if see. If I use your computer? Mm-hmm. Ah, that's number four. Is it okay if I use your computer mm -hmm. oops oh I have my keyboard in Spanish that's why let's see is it okay I think you're 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 great yeah uh-huh is it is it good is the request okay? Yes. Yes, wow. of course. Great job. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, is it okay if I, uh -huh. is it okay if I use your computer? Not your. Uh -huh. And then the and then the, the person says, You can use it, but please say my word first, okay? So meanwhile, you work on that one. Let me call your names and see if you're there. I hope, please not to miss classes, okay? Um, let me just go here. And my, I don't know if I'm using the correct one, but I, oh no, this is someone else. Okay. Uh, Betsy Lisbeth Madrid. Oh no. Betsy. Katia Joana. Yes, that's that's what I, but it says uh, Fidencio Lopez. I don't know. That is Let another me, one. Yeah, it looks like another one. Let me open. Um, let me open. Let me close this one and open the one that uh, from you. Uh, meanwhile, do the exercises, guys. Write the exercises. That's why I'm doing this one. Uh, Mean while you do the rest of the exercises. Now I guess I did. Carlos Alberto. Present. Now I got the correct one. Uh, Claudia Maria. Present teacher. 
Daniela Mercedes Méndez. Daniela. Eh, David uh, Alonso. Present. Eda Lisset Pineda. Present. Present. Francis, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Francisco, I remember that, that I saw it. Eh, Glendy Lisbeth. Present. Isabo. Present eh, teacher. Eh, Isaura Evelia Vázquez. Present teacher. Luis Fernando Linares. Present. Eh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco. I remember you were there, Marco. Eh, Natalie Rebeca. Peña. Natalie. Eh, Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present teacher. A Rebeca Lionel Hernández. Present teacher. Rebeca Paola Granados. Iglesias. Present teacher. Eh, Renato Salvador Ramírez. Present teacher. Good, thank you, Renato. Eh, Ruth Marielos. Present teacher. Eh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. And Silvia Tatiana Costa Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, finish? Number three, your neighbor has a car. You needed a ride to class. What it will be the question? It says, I'll be glad to. What time? What will be a possible request over there? Uh huh. Um, can you give me a ride? Can you read me a guy? A ride? Yeah, that would be a uh, that would be a a, a a what? A simple request. Yeah, that's possible. Uh huh. But remember that we are learning to be that we, and that's a good a good request. Okay. But remember that we want to sound polite. Another option. Could be. Yeah, if I was wondering if you told the uh, right. Yeah, you can say okay. That's one, and and could be means what it could be. Please tell well, me. You podría. Say. Podría uh -huh. ser. You... What, what could be the request? Uh huh. Would you mind? The one that I says that uh, one of you ladies it was okay. Would you mind, Mister? Finish the request. Would you mind to give me a ride to class? Would you mind if you could give me a ride to uh, to class? Yeah, possible. And then you want a friend to help you move on Saturday. And then you had the request. I'm really sorry. I'm busy the whole weekend. So you want a friend to help you move on Saturday. Could you write it on the chat? We haven't used the chat today. 
please everybody write on the chat. We still have like four minutes because uh, I came kind of late. Uh-huh. Write it on the chat. Or let's make it together. Uh, we're here. Uh -huh. What will be? La vamos a hacer todos. Oops, I spoke Spanish. <laughs> uh huh. Would it be okay? Would. Okay. Would it be, be okay if. Okay. If, uh, okay. If. Uh huh. So far, so good. Are you friend, yes, friend, you. Yeah, uh -huh, but you when friend said, would it would it be okay if what it would be the subject? You friend. Uh -huh, but the subject we need to use a subject, a subject pronoun. What are the subject pronouns? Are you he you. she? You. Ah, ah mm -hmm. okay. So it would it be okay if you friend. Uh -huh. Can we use another model over there? If you could uh we're not uh uh huh, but we need to. Uh, if you ah, what about this one? If you help me, to move to, on, sorry, to, ah, you saw my ideas, but to move on Saturday. On Saturday. Um. How does it look? It look okay or, or what? And, and is this a question or, or a statement? I mean, a request, a statement request. Do, do, we, do we use question mark or we just leave it like that? Would it be okay if you help me to you move on Saturday? Right? Yes, we need to, yeah. we need, uh -huh. we need we need a question mark over there. Remember that it's only wonder that not, it's not a it's not a question. I wonder, I mean, or I was wondering. It's not a question, but the rest is. Does it sound okay, guys? Yes, it's it's been pretty much good. Okay. Would it be okay if you help me to move on Saturday? It sounds good. Uh, it says, I'm really sorry. I'm busy the whole weekend. Then number five, you want to borrow your cousin's DVD of Spider-Man. Uh-huh. Please write it on the chat. I would like to see. Yeah, remember that in this case, uh, we want to borrow a, D a DVD Spider-Man. Less formal, how would you, how would be? Ah, in fact, uh, less formal, you say, uh, uh -huh. can, I? Uh, okay. can I borrow your uh, Spider-Man DVDs <laughs> on the weekend on Saturday? Yeah, that, someone said that one is, is less formal. Or oh, could you lend me your DVDs, uh, your Spider-Man DVD on the weekend? Yeah, and more formal, what would be the request? You can see the sentence in your in your in your document. 
What would be the request? Would it be okay if I borrow you? Uh -huh. Would it be okay if I borrow you? Uh, if I could borrow, uh huh. If I could borrow your Spider Man DVD. Those questions are okay. Uh, please, if you have the document over there, so I advise you to do the things. Okay, these are um, uh, these are the the the, the answers. Eh? But the ones that you were saying, these are possible answers. Eh? The ones you were saying, they were okay. They were pretty good, very good. Okay. So, okay. If, any questions, guys? Any doubts? No, teacher. Okay, I hope that it, uh, this this learning for. So please, um, I think we're getting <laughs> better in class, but I need you to help me with the cameras, okay? Because you know it will be coming, my friend. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for being here. Please sleep time, rest, okay? If you haven't had dinner, so go have dinner. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Teacher, go. Yes, Sylvia. Teacher, Nine. how can I find on YouTube the video of yesterday? Uh, I mean, you mean the audio or the video? The video. Did oh, I did I show a video about this one? Yeah. Okay, I think I have a video. Let me let me send it to um to uh, to your WhatsApp, okay? Because I can upload videos over there, okay? I think okay, she okay. refers to the class, the, the yesterday class. Ah, no, it's uh, no the video the class from yesterday. Just go on the on the link that says uh, lista de reproducciones, and you'll see the video there. All the oh, videos okay. are there. Yeah. Uh huh. But uh, I think uh, yesterday's video is not good. But you can watch it over there. Okay. okay. Lista okay, de lista de reproducciones. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. See you. Good night. It's night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>